and gentlemen, hello and welcome to our English news edition coming to you from Canal Algérie. I'm your host, Maysa Dumas, to the headlines. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tiboun, received on Wednesday the French European and Foreign Affairs Minister, Jean-Yves Le Drian. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tiboun, presented his sincere condolences following the death of the defender of the Algerian Liberation War, the European militant Juliette Akampora. The Minister of Mujahideen or War Veterans, Laid Rbiqa, inaugurated a wing in the Mujahideen Museum dedicated to the scholar Abdel Hamid ibn Badis. And we end our news edition with the second prime atmosphere prevailing in the Algerian national television program, Hadi Al Arwah. Those were today's headlines. First in our news, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tiboun, received on Wednesday the French European and Foreign Affairs Minister, Jean Yves Le Drian. The audience took place in the presence of the Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad Minister, Ramtan Lamamra. Following the audience, Jean-Yves Le Drian made the following statement. It has been four months since my previous visit. I would like to thank President Tiboun for the long discussion that he granted me today. I would also like to thank my counterpart La Mamra for inviting me to the iftar dinner. We are continuing the work undertaken on the ongoing revival of our bilateral relations, which are essential for both our countries that we would like to discuss in an upcoming meeting of the high-level interministerial committee between the French and the Algerian governments. Since France and Algeria have deep historical and human links between both peoples, we are also facing regional challenges, namely terrorism. Our cooperation in the field of security to stabilize our regional environment is essential in the Mediterranean region and Africa. The development of the situation in the Sahel region and the necessity to relaunch the transition process in Libya highlights this importance. We also have common strategic challenges, such as the war conducted by Russia against Ukraine, which affects Europe's security, in addition to international stability. It also has major consequences on the diversification of energy supplies for Europeans, as well as for safety and food supplies, including for Algeria. We also discussed all these sensitive issues in a spirit of trust and solidarity. The President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tiboun, presented his sincere condolences to the family of the deceased, the European militant Juliette Akampura. The President of the Republic recalled Juliette Akampura's sincere commitment in defending a just cause and in the service of the national liberation against colonization. The funeral of the 92 years old militant, the widow of George Akampura, will take place next Saturday at the Christian Cemetery of Boulourine. In the parliamentary activity, the President of the Council of the Nations, Salah Gujil, held talks with the head of the Parliamentary Union of Member States of the Islamic Organization and Cooperation, Mohammed Qureshi Niyaz, who is on a visit to Algeria. This meeting was followed by the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between the Parliamentary Union of Member State of the Islamic Organization and Cooperation and the Algerian Parliament. The head of the Parliamentary Union of Member States of Islamic Organization and Cooperation was also received by the President of the National People's Assembly, Brahim Bougali.
Still in the parliamentary activity, the president of the National People's Assembly, Ibrahim Bourali, chaired a plenary session devoted to oral questions concerning five sectors, namely energy, national education, tourism and environment. At the Mujahideen Museum, the Minister of Mujahideen or War Veterans, Laid Erbiqa, was accompanied by the Minister of Communication and Minister of Religious Affairs to inaugurate a wing dedicated to the scholar Abdul Hamid Ibn Badis. This wing accommodates personal objects of Ibn Badis and manuscripts of great historical value put at the disposal of the museum by his brother Abdul Haq Ibn Badis, who was honored for this gesture. The Ministry of Religious Affairs called on citizens to initiate Zakat al-Fitr for the month of Ramadan and states that this year it is estimated at 120 Algerian dinars and commissioned imams of mosques in coordination with heads of religious committees to start collecting them in the middle of the blessed month. A product largely consumed by Algerians, fish stands are organized in public places with the objective of breaking the monopoly of prices and allowing agriculturists to offer their varieties of fish directly to buyers. The story by Leticia Sadkawi. Putting on the market farmed fish, fresh and at a reasonable price. This is the objective of these points of sale, located in the four corners of the capital, an initiative welcomed by the locals, many of whom come every day to buy their fresh fish. I came to buy the sea bream. It is a thousand dinars here. Elsewhere it goes up to 1,700 dinars. It is a fresh fish of good quality and above all a very good price. If this year is affordable, it would be nice if there were in Algiers more points of sale like this one. Tents installed in the capital but also in several coastal cities, the objective being to make available to the consumer a fresh product, which arrives directly from the livestock farms. We have distributed no less than 4.5 tons of sea bream. This initiative aims to lower fish prices and put on the market fresh fish at a reasonable price for everyone. For the government who wants to seize the opportunity, this initiative will run until the end of the month of Ramadan. Let's move now to Wurgla province to discover the competition of recitation of the Holy Quran, where 40 young people challenge themselves to be the best. More details with Rania al Bahri. It is a psalmody competition open to young candidates wishing to reveal their abilities to intone Quranic verses. This competition is considered as part of the cultural and religious activities organized during the month of Ramadan. It's a very good experience for us. It allows us to master the rules of intonation and recitation. This kind of competition is a reference for me, and I hope to attend more competitions like this in the future. Four contestants worked for several months to perfect the reading of the Holy Quran, a recitation that requires several phonetic rules. This competition is intended for candidates aged between 9 and 16. The program drawn up during this month also includes evenings of religious chanting performed by local troops and other activities. An exhibition of Islamic Arabic calligraphy is also organized on sidelines of this competition. And in the final story, Manal Amari tells us more about the ambience among the candidates of the EPTV show Hadi Al Arwah. During the second prime of the seventh edition of Hadi Al Arwah, the competitors outdid themselves by performing beautiful religious chants. This is an important and necessary stage in my life. Hadi al Arwah is the dream of all chanters. Joining this competition is the last step before moving towards the international scene. The diplomas received from the Hadi al Arwah school can represent Algeria on a global scale. 
This year, there is a flawless organization and more specific criteria to meet to move to the second stage of the competition. The participants have beautiful voices and they took up the challenge. Some of them are still stressed after the second prime, but at the end, that stress disappears. There is a new concept this year and the competition will be carried out in four stages. In the first one, we listen to the 12 competitors' performances and only six will move to the second stage. On the third one, the jury will choose the four finalists. During the last stage, three winners will be selected. Hadir Arwah is a competition that attracts more and more amateurs of religious chants wanting to perfect their style. The winners might also be able to represent Algeria in international events. Detachments of the Sahari People's Liberation Army, SPLA, continued their attacks against the entrenchments of the Moroccan occupying forces in Udi Omar Rukba region in the Mahbas sector, causing human and material losses. Noting that units of the Sahrawi army bombed on Wednesday the positions of the forces of the Moroccan occupier in the sector of Al Mahbas, targeting the regions of Aqrara Farsik and Oudi Darhman, as PLA attacks continue against soldiers of the Moroccan occupier that suffered heavy human and material losses along the wall of shame. That was it for our news edition. Thanks for tuning in to our program. Good night. Thank you.